Hi, Tom Cat here, your modern day starving artist. Today uh, we're gonna go through a little virtual tour of my beautiful machinery, 1989 Honda. It's the oldest car I've owned. Uh, we're gonna go on a grand tour here. So right now we got the license plate hooked up with the pipe cleaner and the bungee cord. The uh, hood is operated with this rope. I use ropes to tie down to the bumper, usually four of them at a time. If I'm deciding to get risky and take the freeway, keeping it under 55 miles per hour. Always gotta detach the battery whenever I leave it parked for more than two hours. There's a leak somewhere. Probably from the accident when I was uh, in rush hour and um, a Cadillac in front of me slammed on its brake. I scratched their paint and totaled my car, which is why this doesn't latch anymore. So yeah, I have to keep that strapped down. I usually just stay off the freeway. I got a big indent here because uh, one time the chain busted open when I was doing like 85 on the 101 and it smashed in the whole windshield. Um, so that was fun. This door doesn't open. So what we're gonna do today is just a little unhooky here. And uh, we'll climb aboard the, the ship. So on this grand tour, climbing in, you usually have to readjust the mirror because uh, I bump into it coming in through the door. If you look over there, you can see a crack in that mirror. I don't know how that happened. Just got in it one day when I lived in Van Nuys, and there it was. Starts off when it's uh, cold out. You usually gotta like choke it and stuff. Here's my fine radio. It doesn't work. You see at some stations, I can play tape cassettes, but one of the tape cassettes melted inside of it. So now I don't get anything. Being 110 degrees throughout the summers here in Los Angeles, the only priority I took when I got this car was it needs to have working AC, which it seemed like it did at the time. And then later when I was uh, on the freeway in traffic and had the windows up and turned on the AC, it never got cooler, it just got hotter. Windshield wipers. Good thing it don't ever rain here because it was so hot when I got in the car once, I had to put a shirt over the steering wheel just so I could touch it to turn it. And then uh, it slipped out of my hand and the, you know, the, the lever for the wipers just broke right off. It's kind of funny, it shot out the window when it happened. So no windshield wiper, so I try and stay off the road if it's raining or if it's been raining for a while and it washes all the grease off, that's good. Dirt, not grease. Um, it was a pretty good deal though. I spent like $1,050 on this car. It only had 85 miles being an 89 Honda because it was like in a garage for a while. It's held me up since February 2014. But the paradox is I do a lot of freelance gigs for work and those are far away. I can't really take this sucker on the freeway. And uh, so it's hard to do those type of gigs. Other crap jobs in the meantime I would like to work would be stuff like, you know, Lyft or Uber, delivering some delicious pizzerias for the fine citizens of Los Angeles. But um, you have to have a car that's made in this century to even apply for those jobs. And this car being as old as my existence uh, doesn't work. It's a paradox. So, if you like this grand tour of... Um, my 1989 Honda Accord, then, uh, you know, feel free to contribute and you can get some cool comic books or some music, some movies that I'm out here busting my ankles to make. It's part of the Death Cat franchise. And, uh, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Oh my God, I'm on camera. Tom, could you tell us why it's important that we have uh, people making art and uh, people and to have art as part of our, our life in this in this free country. Why is it important for people to make art? Well, it's gonna happen regardless. There's art everywhere. You look at a building that was designed, that's art, architecture is art, advertisement to buy things you probably don't need or maybe do need or think you want to need. You know, that's art there. Stuff that allows you to, you know, liberate your mind or like go outside of confines which have been constricted upon you throughout your life that's art to break through art is um 
creativity and creativity is the barrier of the non-existent line of the ongoing universe as Albert Einstein said something along those lines beyond knowledge and knowing and learning things is what is unknown which cannot be explained because it is not defined or doesn't exist yet it's creativity which is endless once you tap into it you know how many among us could have said it like that <laughs> I don't think very many of us not me anyway maybe you could you're a Zarzecki aren't you all I did was found Duran Duran when I was eight and uh, subsequently they didn't like my singing I can I blame them and uh, Simon Le Bon took over so here I am um, but you, you know. were trained by Sinatra, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, but not as a lyricist. Mm -hmm. So Simon, Simon took it all away. But that has uh, little or no bearing on this life, other than the fact that I don't even have a car. Uh, Tom, though, you drive me around sometimes, and I would like it if you had a better car. I would like that people helped each other so we could make our art. That's what it's all about. So it would be nice if... Yeah. Bend, Svetlana, bend to the side. Bend to the side. So he can have the camera the right way. No, it's good. Okay. Oh, I see. There. Yeah. Bend more. Let's help. Let's help Tom help him make art by helping his car drive better. It's really not too much to ask, is it? No, it's not. I mean, a car. We all need it here in Los Angeles. It's a necessity. I'm going to help. Tell you what, guys. For every dollar you donate, I'll donate a penny. You give a hundred dollars, I'll give a dollar. You give a thousand dollars, I'll give ten dollars. I might be able to come up with ten dollars, so don't donate too much more than a thousand dollars, okay? Tom, how long have you had this car, by the way? Wait, so I've had this car since February 2014. Oh, wow. The car I had before it. This car is really held up for you, honestly. Yeah, people said it wouldn't last more than six months, even my mechanic, but you know, I just, I don't abuse it. I take care of it. I just paid a full year's insurance, which I could switch over to another vehicle, which cost me uh, over half of what I have in my bank account. And yeah, I mean, it's it's the most I've paid for a car, $1,050. The car before it, I paid 1000 It was a Delta 88 1990 Oldsmobile. The doors were rusted shut. Damn. Also didn't have airbags. I don't remember the last time I had a car with an you airbag. You need a safe car. Uh, before that car, what did I drive? I had a Saturn. A 1996 Saturn is the newest vehicle I've ever owned. That one had AC. It was ugly, but it was great for doing uh, delivery jobs. I did my own custom paint job on it. Had a nice tape deck. Uh, you know, it was comfortable, clean. The car before that, I just bought for parts and never used was 87 Grand Marquis and then the car before that my first car my true love which I had to salvage to the junkyard which I shouldn't have done was a 1991 Grand Marquis which was great but with those V8 Mustang engines, engines it just um, wasn't economic. worth the finances so yeah. I'm looking to get something a V8 a Honda or a Toyota something I can take to my trusted mechanic V6 V6, that's too much gas. V8 is more gas. No, I'm trying to get a V4, a four cylinder. <laughs> four cylinder. Sometimes. You said V8. I say V8. Tom, look at look at down the street there. What we can do, we can end this video by you getting on the car, shutting the door, whichever door it is. Okay, get, get us, get us. And then walking down that sunset, like in Hollywood. Sure. Just gonna shut the door and just. Sure, yeah. let's do it. This is often how I get out of my car. If I park well, too close. Back up, back up, back up, back up. I mean, just so you can get that. Yeah. Way into the sunset. Yeah. It's not just art, it's a career. It's life. Please go places. What do you swallow? You swallow life. Swallow art. I'm rolling. I'm kind of actually kind of afraid the bumper might fall off, but the reason we can't sit on the hood is because it might press into the radiator, which leaked twice. Oh, once, no. once because it, it, it's because it was sitting in a garage since you know the early '90s, mm -hmm. and uh, you know it just rusted through. And then I replaced it a 
week after the warranty expired, it just it did the same thing from somebody like bumping into it or something like that. So I thought when I crashed it, but so yeah, so, not be doing this? <laughs> yeah, maybe not. But but yeah, I mean you've uh, yeah you've seen some of the rough times. Yeah, during some crazy raining days, um, Tom's car was not starting. I had to drive all the way to his car from my house and with my brother. And my brother's like, what kind of piece of shit car is this? Actually, Tom let me borrow the car. I think you let me borrow it because I had to move it around here out of town. To, oh, yeah. Um, um, yeah, because I was out of town. I couldn't street parking, so I let yeah. her move it. And so she it, took it on, you know, killing sprees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, had to um, jump the car on a rainy day, dark at night, hoping he wouldn't get a ticket in the morning because I couldn't move the car on cleaning day. And um, luckily, it, he didn't get a ticket. But Yeah, she left a kind note. Yeah, because the battery would leak, and the battery died. I got a brand new battery, kept on leaking, and so that's why I always have to unhook it every single time I park. I don't know how you do it. What else is a rough time? <laughs> when the windshield smashed in, I was actually pretty calm about that. I just like, oh. it was so fast though, it was just mm -hmm. like, pff, black, and then I was like. I've had that oh. happen to me before. Come over, <laughs> pull it down. Oh, and then the way to fix it, I was gonna get it fixed. They told me it was gonna cost enough to buy a whole new car if they fixed it. So what they recommended I did, which I did, I went to Home Depot, got a piece of wood, put it under there. I jumped on the hood to bend it back into shape, returned the, the piece of wood, and then um, what else? I guess that that's was art. all. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. That's it. Oh, and then the last time I took it in to get like an oil change and stuff, uh, the knob was kind of coming off and the mechanic opened, he went to open the door and the handle came off and it, it won't open so they couldn't fix it. So that's why I hopped in. Mm. through the other doors what else is great about this car oh the tires that's kind of my own fault though it had really old tires and um one of them I, I had the feeling it's like you know you can't ignore that intuition and i was like it's like i'll do it next week and i had a, a blowout on the 405 once that was interesting turned into a huge thing where this tow company tried to like scam me and all this stuff so that was fun but that was like over a year ago here, ask him about what it's like to not have his own place and have uh, practically no car. So, how is it like to have your, um, <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> how is it like to not have your own place and practically not have a car? Well, I could sleep in the car because it does exist and it does drive, so that's great. It's tough not having my own space sometimes, but maybe that's something I need to learn in this life, having uh, grown up isolating myself in my bedroom, like making weird art. So it forces me to be around people. It's a learning experience. I'm not prioritizing uh, monetary things, but they are things that I utilize being part of uh, in this system of pros and cons. And uh, Where'd you get the money for those shoes? These shoes, actually Jesse let me use these and just gave them to me when I was in Chicago two years ago. Oh, I thought they were new. No, they're, they're kind of okay. old. Okay. They're actually wearing out. I kind of need to get new. Um, car first. Yeah, car first, so then I can start working more consistently and then uh, start saving up again for my own place. Because I had a lot of money saved up for a place, and then what, what happened to it? Well, I did a whole thing of insurance. Oh, and then I lost my job. I came back from tour. They told me I'd have a job, and I didn't. So, and then I've been like putting out albums and making films, and it kind of just. Yeah. Still keeping busy doing it. Yeah, I'm doing it. It's been the most productive year of my life. I, I want to know, because I have a beret that already looks cool. It does. I want to know what's what's on the horizon for Tom. So our, so what's on the horizon is on the horizon alongside with Crispin and Svetlana, because you all my homies, and we work together. My art would not be what it is without you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for existing. Thanks yeah. for letting me do terrible acting sometimes. Oh, you're, Same. you're the you're the best. I, you're never... the best. I was just talking about that last night. We watched the Doctor Quack thing, which I guess you guys haven't seen yet. I've seen it. You've oh, seen you've it. seen. Oh, them. Yeah. Cause... So, uh, how about a thirty-second version? Here's my car. It's a piece of shit. It doesn't really work. I need a new one, and I don't have a job that's consistent. So help me out so I can work consistently. By donating money, I'm trying to get like four grand. <laughs> I've only spent like a thousand dollars on cars my whole life, so I figured if I could invest four to six grand in one used car, then I look over all the details, it'll last me much longer.